somebody dumped a domestic bunny behind my apartment. I tried all day yesterday to catch it and was unsuccessful, so I'm trying again today. I mean, I don't see him anywhere, so I'm just gonna camp out here for a while and hope he comes around. All right, so I found him and I am now sitting here with my trap. This is his end of the carrot, this is my end. Um, <laughs> he's right there, you can see him. And I'm just laying here trying to be approachable and not scary. He stole my lettuce. Yeah. Very discouraged right now. I feel like I messed up all the trust that I had going on with him. He's terrified of me now. So I'm gonna give him a break. I'm gonna go inside and warm up and I'll try again. All right, we're back and I feel it. Today's the day. I ordered this big ass crate at like 1.40 something in the morning. I filled it with all these bunny treats. He's currently under this truck right now. You can't see him, but. He did so good. Okay, guys, after I don't even know how many hours, <laughs> we did it! Last week I discovered that somebody had dumped a domestic rabbit behind my apartment complex. I spent days desperately trying to catch him and I finally did. I called the Humane Society and several other rescues but everyone was full. I was about to post on a local yard sale page but then I found something that would change everything. Turns out that this was his second time being dumped. Which literally broke my heart. I just couldn't imagine giving him to someone who doesn't absolutely adore him. So we're spending time every day getting him and my cat Kiki, who is a bit of a princess, adjusted to each other so that we can all live together as a happy little family.